What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. If you've been on the internet at all, you may have noticed that lately people are talking a lot about AI. Personally, my default reaction towards new technology tends to be fear. And that's definitely been the case for me as ChatGPT and all the other forms of AI have just kind of come front and center in the internet and I've avoided them like the plague. Now, I have not touched ChatGPT or any of these sort of general AI at all because they've freaked me out, but I have binge watched a bunch of YouTube videos of people using ChatGPT for like anything you could possibly imagine, like scripting your YouTube videos, helping you outline a blog post, helping you structure structure your week so that you're productive. Like it can do almost everything. It's amazing. So for me, it's time. AI is here to stay. So today we're gonna try out ChatGPT together. So uh, step one, ChatGPT. Okay, so I'm gonna set up an account with ChatGPT and I'll be right back. Okay, so as soon as I log in, it gives me a little heads up that they are gathering external feedback through this free version of ChatGPT. So keep that in mind. Don't share anything that you don't want shared with other people. And also it's just letting us know, hey, sometimes it may generate incorrect information. So yeah, never 100% never trust that ChatGPT is uh, correct. You need to do some fact checking and things like that. Okay, so we're in now. I mean, I'm a little nervous to be honest. Like this is just, it's like I'm meeting a new person, but obviously it's not a person, but it's like a person and whoo. So basically I want ChatGPT to help guide us on how we can use it as a therapist. If you don't know anything about ChatGPT, it's literally like you're chatting with a person, except it's an AI bot. So you have conversations back and forth and you keep giving it more prompts to try to kind of have it respond with whatever information you're needing. So um, I do have a few prompts that I've already written out. I'll just copy and paste over. All right, so let's go ahead and paste my first prompt in. I'm a psychologist seeing therapy clients who identify as Christian and LGBTQ. List five ways you, aka ChatGPT, can support the work that I do. Let's see what it does with that. Oh my goodness. Well, wow. okay, while it was writing this out, it said that I can actually share this chat. So maybe what I'll do is all the chats that I have with ChatGPT, I'll link to in the description of this video because I'm not gonna read the whole thing here. You can kind of see how it responded. Let's see what it says. As an AI language model, I can provide you with five ways in which I can support your work as a psychologist seeing therapy clients who identify as Christian LGBTQ. So educational resources, help me curate relevant information, research articles and resources that address. Okay, so it can, it can teach me about research that's available on this particular topic. Thank you, that's helpful. Assisting with affirming language. Oh, I love that. I didn't even think about that. I can help you navigate sensitive conversations and provide suggestions for inclusive and affirming language when discussing topics related to Christianity and LGBTQ identities. Yeah, sign me up. I love that. Exploring intersectionality. Like, how does it even know that word intersectionality is like one of my favorite words and that's exactly like the best single word to summarize my specialty. I love that. I can help you explore the complex intersection between religious beliefs and sexual orientation or gender identity. Yes, it's so on point right now. I love this. Offering perspectives and coping strategies. I can provide different perspectives on common issues faced by LGBTQ. Perfect. That all sounds lovely. And assisting and formulating in interventions. If you encounter specific challenges or dilemmas in therapy sessions, I can assist in brainstorming potential interventions or approaches. And I love that it has kind of the built-in disclaimer, like it's not gonna do the work for me. Of course, it's like an assistant. I love this already. I've heard from a friend, you could potentially type into the box, like keep at list five more ways you can help me and kind of expand the list if this isn't what you're looking for. I just kind of want to show you little things that I've seen other people do and how you can use it. List five ways. My goodness, like what is this? <laughs> How is this real? I know I always, I've watched so many YouTubers do this on different topics, but there's something that happens when it's like, I'm asking for help with my specific thing and it'd be like, how is this so on point? So it can provide insights on theological perspectives. I mean, this is something that pops up so much for my clients. Exploring cultural and familiar familial dynamics. Super helpful, examining internal conflicts. I can help you explore internal conflicts that may arise for individuals, perfect. So at, for any of these, I can just say, okay, tell me more about that. Facilitating self-reflection and identity exploration. I can assist clients in examining their own beliefs, values, and identities. Identifying support networks. Okay, I like this. What if I said for number five, could which is where I'm located. Um, 
Uh, yes, please. I mean, this is perfect. I've been thinking about how I want to have a resource page. Again, not that I would just copy and paste this. I would love to like look through all these resources, actually go to those websites myself, but I could create a resources page and utilize all these tools. Um, and, and link to them. I'm into this. Okay, so that first prompt that we just did was just an example of how we might be able to utilize ChatGPT within our own specialties, how to support our clients, things like that, but I wanna pivot to a different topic and see how ChatGPT handles this. So this is another prompt I, I planned out. I'm a psychologist teaching fellow therapists about private practice on YouTube. Sound familiar? List five areas the therapists I teach could benefit from using ChatGPT to market their private practices. So I'm asking specifically about marketing your practice. How can we use ChatGPT to help us? Interesting. Okay, so content creation, I had that kind of in my brain. A lot of us are aware that that's something that ChatGPT can help us with. So if you have blog posts that you need help with or things like that, I actually have a prompt coming up that's on that topic, it can help you there. FAQ support, I'm curious what this says. By training ChatGPT with frequently asked questions and their corresponding answers, therapists can create a virtual assistant to provide automated support. That's really interesting. Social media engagement. ChatGPT can assist therapists in enhancing their social media presence. You can draft engaging captions, respond to comments and direct messages, and even schedule posts. Interesting. And email marketing, absolutely. ChatGPT can help therapists craft compelling email newsletters or campaigns. Website chatbot. Incorporating ChatGPT as a website chatbot can provide immediate support to visitors and potential clients. And I'm not gonna touch on this in this video. I don't know if there's concerns about HIPAA with that, so I'm not even gonna touch that right now. Okay, I feel like I could play with this one all day, but I think to sum up, if you're looking for help with marketing your practice, go ahead and have a conversation with ChatGPT. Give it as much information and specifics as you possibly can. I mean, you could even probably copy and paste pieces of your website text, your copy on your website, put it in ChatGPT, and then say kind of based on my about me page or my services page, help me figure out you know five ways to market my practice and dive into it, go for it. So to kind of carry on this theme, here's another prompt and I have some experiments I wanna make with it. So I'm a psychologist who counsel people who identify as Christian LGBTQ, write 10 blog post titles that would benefit this population, use SEO keyword in the title. So ChatGPT supposedly is supposed to be able to help you with SEO, game changer, I know. If you're not familiar with SEO, I have a bunch of videos on it. I'll link to something about that below we're not gonna get into it in this video. Let's see what some of these example blog post titles look like. Navigating the intersection, Christian and LGBTQ identity, a guide to self-acceptance. I'm like, yes, that's, not, that's relevant for my population already. Reconciling faith and orientation, finding peace as a Christian and LGBTQ individual. All of these are super relevant. So, so we got some awesome blog post titles. I could run off and go you write the blog posts that go with those titles, but let's take it a little further. So I'm throwing a bunch of instructions at ChatGPT because I just want to see if it can handle it. So I'm saying, okay, take that first prompt and give me an outline for it. Um, and it, it, you could just say that and end there, but the more specifics you give it, the better usually. So um, for my outline, I want it to include five tools to help LGBTQ Christians navigate the intersection using evidence-based tools and bonus, right in the voice of Dr. Marie Fang. Now I can hopefully get away with this because I have a lot of content on the internet and I'm hoping ChatGPT can use that content to sound like me. Let's see what it does. Just let me look through this real quick. Love, love. I'll be honest, I couldn't have written a better outline. <laughs> now I love all of these tips. Um, the most kind of human sounding of the five tools that it offered is this fifth tool, developing a personal spiritual practice. So let's see what ChatGPT does if we ask it to write that section for us. So I'm just asking it to essentially write that section of the blog for me. Wow. Are these tools super helpful ones that I would share as well? Yes. It does sound more formal than I tend to speak. Um, this last paragraph though totally sounds like me. Like I would write this paragraph in this blog post for sure. I was saying like it's a little bit too formal, like some of this language in the intricate landscape. Like I don't speak like that usually. Let me try saying like rewrite it to be less formal and more mm, chatty. I might have taken it too far with that. 
Okay, yeah, it's less formal. <laughs> I took chatty and added things like, hey there, so. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you get the idea that you can kind of ask it to kind of keep fine tuning things for you. If there's something you don't like, you can tell it and it can change it. The more specific that you get in the feedback that you give, the better it will accommodate you. I am sure there's way more functionality that ChatGPT has than this because I am just an absolute newbie trying this for the first time. But part of why I wanted to do this kind of totally clean slate without having done this before is I want it to feel less overwhelming for you as I'm just checking it out to show you that you can totally just log in and check it out yourself. And I've heard from different places that the best way to learn how to use ChatGPT is to just start interacting with it and just see what it can do. So that's what we're doing. It is worth noting that apparently there's some type of watermark in any text that's developed by ChatGPT. But basically, if we ask ChatGPT, let's say, to write an entire blog post for us and we just copy and pasted it straight over into Squarespace or wherever we're hosting our website and made it into a blog, it's going to get dinged in the Google algorithm as far as SEO because Google is gonna say, sniff it out that it's written by ChatGPT. So it's really important to make sure whether it's you ask ChatGPT to write an outline and you fill in the blanks, or if you're gonna really use it to write your text for you to really go through and still make it yours. And then hopefully you can kind of bypass the watermark. If I can find it, I heard that there's actually some links that you can kind of submit your text um, into a website and it will show you which parts are flagging as looking like it was written by AI. So if I can find a link to that, I'll put it in the description box below. This is super fun for me. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, this is the last prompt I think I'm gonna do for today just for the sake of time. Let's be a little bit meta. I'm a psychologist creating videos on YouTube, channel private practice skills. Come up with a witty search friendly title for a video I'm creating focused on asking AI to teach me how to use AI as a therapist. All right, give it to me, ChatGPT. Therapy in the age of AI, unveiling the secrets of artificial intelligence as your therapist. Let's say, make it shorter and give me 10 options. See, these don't feel as I read them, and of course I'm not the YouTube algorithm, as I read these, these don't quite land for me as like search friendly titles versus I'd already kind of earmarked a title for this video. Here's, so peek behind the curtain, here's three titles that I came up with for this video that I researched using TubeBuddy a little bit. These all feel like short, sweet, I get what it's about, I'm kind of maybe interested, hopefully. <laughs> versus like AI therapy 101, unlocking the power of artificial intelligence as your therapist. Okay, I'm not sure if what's happening here is that we're just finding chat GPT's limits of like, I'm trying to look for like that catchy title that's just like, here's what I'm doing real quick. Like, don't you wanna click on it? <laughs> and is the limitation chat GPT or is the limitation the way that I'm prompting it? Or maybe some mixture of both. I thought it would be kind of cool if I like, let ChatGPT choose the title of this video. <laughs> um, but I think I'm still gonna stick with one of the ones that I picked. Well, there's that. My primary hope in making this video is just to show you that it doesn't have to be scary to just try it. You can set up a free account. Keep in mind that they're doing research still, so the, the powers that be can see what you're typing in there, so don't put any, anything in there you don't want them to see. Pop in there, get started, see what comes up, see if there's anything useful benefit that you could get from ChatGPT. There's also like a gazillion other types of AI, but I'm not even gonna overwhelm you with all of those because I'm overwhelmed by them. So I hope that this inspired you to just try it and see what happens. And if you have been using AI for a bit and you are more familiar with ways it can be helpful, please leave a comment and let us know what are some tools that therapists can use from something like ChatGPT in order to make life easier for us? Not to replace us, just to make life easier. And I'm aware as I made this video that there are all kinds of ethical and just different types of concerns when it comes to AI and utilizing AI. I'm not gonna touch on those in this video because that could just be its own video. But if you are interested in kind of taking a deeper dive into AI in general and what does this mean for all of us and all of that, a dear friend of mine fairly recently started a podcast called Skills AI Can't Steal and he brings on different folks to interview to talk about both how we can leverage AI to our benefit but also the things that are uniquely human that AI can't replicate and how to kind of lean into those things and embrace them. I'll link to his podcast below if you're interested in exploring that further. And before we close, I'd like to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, and billing. They have a HIPAA 
secure telehealth platform, and so much more to help streamline your practice. If you'd like to check out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Well, I know this video is kind of a different format than my typical videos. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it inspiring to just see how AI can help you. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.